the ceremonial bell ringing. It's a symbol of hope and celebration for patients who have finished their cancer treatment. And today on Henry Ford Health System News, we're celebrating the grand opening of the Henry Ford Cancer Institute's brand new home here in Detroit. The 187,000 square foot facility is now open to patients after a socially distant grand opening event and a whole lot of hard work. To the hundreds of our team members that have spent hours, days, and years to get us to this point, simply thank you. None of it would have been possible either without a supportive community and generous donors including Detroit native and local philanthropist and entrepreneur, Mort Harris. It's one of the happiest things that have happened in my life that I was able to bring some happiness to the remembrance of my darling wife, my, my dear, wonderful wife, Brigitte. Among the features of the Brigitte Harris Cancer Pavilion are specialty clinics for 14 different types of cancer a clinical trials office, and a precision medicine program that recognizes that while two people may have the same type of cancer, no two patients respond to treatment exactly the same way. We're actually able to leverage clinical trials and precision medicine options to better enhance our treatment for our patients, custom fit to their needs so we can optimize outcomes. The Radiation Oncology Clinic and Treatment Center provides some of the most advanced radiation therapy options. A clinical trials office gives patients access to the newest treatments. Patients will find every expert they need all in one place. And it's not physi just physicians, it's everyone from the people making appointments and coordinating care to the nurse navigators, dietitians, social workers, psych oncologists, on and on. Now let's talk about some other experts who paid close attention to the little things that make a big difference. Ceremonial bell ringer Deidre Moody is a breast cancer survivor and a former Henry Ford Cancer Institute patient. Henry Ford made me feel comfortable. And as a member of the Patient Family Advisory Council, that's what she wanted to do for others. The council is made up of about 20 members who provided feedback to the Henry Ford team designing the Brigada Harris Cancer Pavilion. We had an opportunity to talk about the furniture, we talked about the food, we talked about the painting on the wall. The council is responsible for the color scheme, a serene beach-like palette with pops of ocean blues. You'll notice something missing from waiting areas, televisions because the patient advisors say TV is too much when you just want to quiet your mind. The marketplace is stocked with comfort food the council requested and positioned in the building so that aromas can be sealed off. Most people know when you go through cancer, you know, uh, sometimes smells, uh, nausea from a smell. Deidre says the most important thing to her were the chairs. I just felt like at the other facility I had attended, the chairs were horrible so you'll find really good ones all over the building. The patient and family advisors made sure the team paid special attention to the furniture in the infusion room, where floor-to-ceiling windows connect patients to the outside world. Individual pods allow patients and guests to settle in during a chemo treatment. I was like, wow, it, it, looks, it feels like home. Patients may never know that this building was designed in part by people who have walked a similar path but maybe they'll feel it. We did this just for you, and it's wonderful to be a part of something where somebody did something just for you. Henry Ford has 14 patient family advisory councils that work on a range of things that are important to both physicians and patients. That's a sampling from the Detroit Symphony Orchestra who helped us with the grand opening ceremony. You know, we won't be able to fit all of those musicians here in the building, but they are among the performers who will be contributing to our healing arts program here at the Brigada Harris Cancer Pavilion. There is art throughout this building, including these two eye-catching pieces in the atrium. Above the elevator, a sculpture by artist Kevin Cole, whose work also appears at the Detroit Institute of Arts. Dangling carefully nearby is a mobile designed by a Detroit artist who lives just a few blocks away. 
the figures look like birds or maybe butterflies. The idea is the patient's mind wanders off their troubles. We spend some time with the creator to learn about his process. I've always been a strange kind of artist. Like I never was really that interested in being in like typical gallery spaces. I call my outfit Animist Studios, and animism is an outlook that thinks that everything is alive. The things that we make with our hands, you know, could be something that has a life. It's inspired by my recent journey to Colombia. It was really a beautiful experience, and I ended up uh, volunteering on this organic cacao farm and staying there for two months. I was really excited to bring some of that magic here to Detroit. So it's a mobile, it hangs from one single anchor point and there's um, probably gonna be like 15 points of articulation where the whole piece itself in its entirety can move, but each element can, can also move. Every square inch of these seeds and these wings are, you know, has, has been hit with a hammer to form it. I like things to have like a very organic kind of form. To me, it celebrates life and aliveness. It's, it's seeds, it's, um, it's birds carrying seeds. I kind of did everything I could to and, and, you know, imbue it with my recent experience there. I think with this sculpture, I'm doing my best to convey aliveness, like that symbiosis that happens in nature. To me, is like one of the most beautiful and inspiring things in the world, right? And being a place that people are going through this really intense healing journey. I just felt it would be such an honor to be that person, you know, that gets to, to make something to gaze up at and just in, in awe and wonder, you know? And I feel like that's one of my goals as an artist is to kind of like help, you know, guide guide the path towards, towards awe and wonder. Finally, the featured photo. Take a look at just a few of the smiling faces that greeted some of our very first patients here. Folks here wanted to make sure patients were able to navigate the new building, so they asked team members to volunteer to help our guests find their way around. More than 50 team members answered the call. A big thanks to everyone who helped out. And thank you for watching Henry Ford Health System News. We're always looking for great stories about our team members, so send them our way. You can email us at newstips at hfhs.org. I'm Dana J, and I'll see you around.